Right here, I just artillery between all four rockets so I can get them out before I land. Because that's going to be my big problem right here. Then I'm going to go around the right side of the base. See a smoke there because I noticed that rocket in range and I just didn't want it to hit my guys. See right here, I flare to that corner right there. I drop a smoke so the mortar doesn't hit me. Another smoke. And I'm going to take a little break right there, get a power cell. And we keep going on our journey. I think a boom can is going to get one of them right there, but then everything else goes out of range. I'm going to go to the next corner. See, I could smoke around here and avoid all of this, but I'd rather just take out the two defenses in my way. I mean, why not? I don't have that much health on them. So see, right now I've only lost three. That's pretty good for this base. And right here, I lost like six or seven of them. That's just bad luck though, they got in range with the flamethrower. Not much you can do about that, because they group up. Now right here, I'm just going to go to the back of the base. Once I get close to that sniper tower, I gotta smoke. I, mean, I could just shock the sniper tower, but I'd rather save my shocks for those mortars. One. That's all I need. And they're gonna take a few hits here. I was a little late deploying that critter volley, but they're gonna help me for the mortars, so. Why not keep them? See if I, once these shocks come out, the mortars are going to hit the critters instead of my zookas. Back flare right here. I don't really need to, but I just prefer it. The shock launcher makes me nervous over there. And yeah, this base is destroyed easily now. Nothing in my way. I finish off with the barrage, and there we go. Conveyor, upper lip, defeated, solo.